Today, I'm gonna be recording some sounds in nature and I'm gonna be taking these sounds back to the studio and trying to make a sample out of them. So let's see what I can come up with. Oh my God, do y'all see it? Okay, I'm gonna try to record him. Where are they guys? Okay guys, now that I've recorded some cool sounds, I'm gonna pull them into an Ableton session and see what I can come up with. I'm back in the studio and I'm ready to pull in these sounds that I recorded outside. So let me see what they sound like. Hopefully they sound okay. Let's see what we can get from this. So I already got my splash. This is good right here. Let's rename him Buds Chuffing. EQs, gotta love them. Okay, so this is the grasshopper. I've got all the sounds, now the fun begins. I wanna get some claps from this little walking stuff, this walking foley. If we layer this with some noise, we might get a nice clap. So like this maybe, so let's make another audio track here, layer these guys, boost this gain. Look at that, already. We want to make him more transient at the beginning. Let's see. That sounds good. A hi-hat. I think that now is a great time to introduce my halftime rack that I've been working on. Halftime Heat lets you go beyond using just the halftime plugin. It allows you to add reverb, delay, bit reduction, chorus, and it also allows you to add phasing effects and pitch shift all in one rack. The macros are intentionally easy to decipher so that you know exactly what you're affecting. Additionally, there are 10 presets to get you started. So what are you waiting for? Link in the description below. Okay, let's let's keep playing with more presets before we get stuck on this one. Okay, we gotta get Mr. Crickets up in here. Okay, I hear a rhythm. So I wanna boost the gain so I can see where the transients are. Okay, Mr. Cricket trying to sing and make beats. I cannot believe this is actually working. I thought this was gonna be trash. Okay. Looperator. Hold on. And then let's put a kickstart on there. 
Um, and now I want to automate the pitch. Let's do clip and then transposition and just do something weird. I don't know. And then I don't want this to start until here. Okay, that's all I have for you guys today. I was not expecting the beat to turn out like this. I think it's pretty dope. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Thanks for watching again, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.